I was like you once. Lost, confused, a piece of shit. And then I met Charlie. <laughs> I was sitting on a beach in Venice. I had just had a big fight with my daddy about, I don't know, my eye makeup or the bombing of Cambodia. He said I was a drug addict and a whore and I should get out of his house forever. So I went down to the beach, I sat down in the sand and I cried. I felt like I was disappearing. I felt like the whole world was dividing into two parts, me and everybody else. And then this guy came down the beach, this dirty looking little elf. He smiled, this twinkly devil smile, and he said, your daddy kicked you out. He knew. Your daddy kicked you out. How could he have known? My daddy didn't tell him, so who could have? God. God sent this dirty looking little elf to save a little girl lost on a beach. He smiled again and he touched my hair and off he went. And for a moment, I just watched him go. And then I ran and I grabbed his hand and until they arrested him for stabbing Sharon Tate, I never let it go. Sure. Let's do that. Let's see it. Okay. okay. I'm still rolling. Okay. I was like you once. Lost, confused, piece of shit. And then I met Charlie. I was sitting on the beach in Venice. I had just had a big fight with my daddy about, I don't know, my eye makeup or the bombing of Cambodia. He said I was a drug addict and a whore and I should get out of his house forever. So I went down to the beach. I sat down in the sand and I cried. I felt like I was disappearing. I felt like the whole world was dividing into two parts, me and everybody else. And then this guy came down the beach, this dirty looking little elf. He smiled, this twinkly devil smile, and he said, your daddy kicked you out. He knew, your daddy kicked you out. How could he have known? My daddy didn't tell him, so who could have? God, God sent this dirty looking little elf to save a little girl lost on a beach. He smiled again and he touched my hair and off he went. And for a moment, I just watched him go. And then I ran and I grabbed his hand and until they arrested him for stabbing Sharon Tate, I never let it go. Or you want to um, don't, I noticed you look to the side. I'm afraid that that's going to show up on the camera. Okay. okay. So um, let's try it one more time and just keep the eye. Just contact. keep at you? It, the I entire time? Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Take three. I was like you once. Lost, confused, a piece of shit. And then I met Charlie. I was sitting on the beach in Venice. I had just had a big fight with my daddy about, I don't know, my eye makeup or the bombing of Cambodia. He said I was a drug addict and a whore and I should get out of his house forever. So I went down to the beach, I sat down in the sand and I cried. I felt like I was disappearing. I felt like the whole world was dividing into two parts, me and everybody else. And then this guy came down the beach, this dirty looking little elf. He smiled this twinkly devil smile and he said, your daddy kicked you out. He knew. Your daddy kicked you out. How could he have known? My daddy didn't tell him, so who could have? God. God sent this dirty looking little elf to save a little girl lost on a beach. He smiled again and he touched my hair and off he went. And for a moment, I just watched him go. And then I ran. And I grabbed his hand, and until they arrested him for stabbing Sharon Tate, I never let it go. Okay. Good. All right. Um, we're going to uh, let's stop tape then and slate again. Huh? Thanks.
Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll be performing Squeaky Frome from Assassins. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Let's try that one more time. What? Okay. Ready? Cool. Squeaky Frome. Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll be performing Squeaky From from Assassins. Okay. Good work. Yep. Okay, I'm rolling. Okay, take two. Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll be performing Squeaky From from the, the musical Assassins. Okay, let's do that. That again. was awful. Why is it so much harder to say the name of a piece than to actually do the piece? I don't understand. Okay, move off camera a little bit more. I see your arm. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll perf be performing Squeaky Frome from the musical. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Take three. Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll be performing Squeaky Frome from Assassins. Did you hear it? I got the clap. Uh, what's the, what's the oh, sorry. Uh, this is, um, what is this? this God's is... Country. Take one. Take one. When President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed, I was six years old. My Sunday school teacher was named Mr. Oswald. This confused me. I was confused because this man had shot the president but was still allowed to lead my Sunday school class in prayer. I thought someone would say something. I thought one of the parishioners would say, you know, since Mr. Oswald shot the president, perhaps he should not be on our payroll any longer. But he was there. He was always very nice during Sunday school. He had a soft voice and crooked teeth and he let us eat pretzels. He looked different than he did on television. As the next Sunday approached, I was worried because I hadn't learned the Bible passage I'd been assigned. Instead, I was sitting on the floor of my parents' bedroom holding my baby brother watching television. I saw Mr. Oswald. I saw Mr. Oswald being taken away in handcuffs and I thought, maybe I won't have to learn my Bible passage. And then he got shot. I watched it. They said he was dead. I laid my baby brother on the bed and I learned my Bible passage by heart. And the next Sunday he was there, teaching us how to pray. Still no one said anything. You know, since Mr. Oswald shot and killed the president and then was gunned down on national television, maybe he should be relieved of his Sunday school duties. But he was there. John 3.16. John 3.16. To this day, I believe in eternal life. Okay, I'm still rolling. Are you still rolling? Are you still rolling? Yeah, still rolling. Okay. I can't stop it. Alright, that's fine. Hopefully they'll allow. Okay. Okay, we're ready uh, for take two. When President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed, I was six years old. My Sunday school teacher was named Mr. Oswald. This confused me. I was confused because this man had shot the president but was still allowed to lead my Sunday school class in prayer. I thought someone would say something. I thought one of the parishioners would say, you know, since Mr. Oswald shot the president, perhaps he should not be on our payroll any longer. But he was there. He was always very nice during Sunday school. He had a soft voice and crooked teeth and he let us eat pretzels. He looked different than he did on television. As the next Sunday approached, I was worried because I hadn't learned the Bible passage I'd been assigned. Instead, I was sitting on the floor of my parents' bedroom holding my baby brother watching television. I saw Mr. Oswald. I saw Mr. Oswald being taken away in handcuffs and I thought, maybe I won't have to learn my Bible passage. And then he got shot. 
I watched it. They said he was dead. I laid my baby brother on the bed and I learned my Bible passage by heart. And the next Sunday, he was there teaching us how to pray. Still, no one said anything. You know, since Mr. Oswald shot and killed the president and then was gunned down on national television, maybe he should be relieved of his Sunday school duties. But he was there. John 3.16. John 3.16. To this day, I believe in eternal life. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, that was good. Yeah. We can go for another. I, I'm set up, so. So just keep going. Okay. Keep going. Let's do one more of those. Then. Okay, we're doing another take. Take three. When President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed, I was six years old. My Sunday school teacher was named Mr. Oswald. This confused me. I was confused because this man had shot the president, but was still allowed to lead my Sunday school class in prayer. I thought someone would say something. I thought one of the parishioners would say, you know, since Mr. Oswald shot the president, perhaps he should not be on our payroll any longer. But he was there. He was always very nice during Sunday school. He had a soft voice and crooked teeth, and he let us eat pretzels. <laughs> he looked different than he did on television. As the next Sunday approached, I was worried because I hadn't learned the Bible passage I'd been assigned. Instead, I was sitting on the floor of my parents' bedroom holding my baby brother watching television. I saw Mr. Oswald. I saw Mr. Oswald being taken away in handcuffs, and I thought, maybe I won't have to learn my Bible passage. And then he got shot. I watched it. They said he was dead. I laid my baby brother on the bed and I learned my Bible passage by heart. And the next Sunday, he was there teaching us how to pray. Still, no one said anything. You know, since Mr. Oswald shot and killed the president and then was gunned down on national television, maybe he should be relieved of his Sunday school duties. But he was there. John 3.16. John 3.16. <laughs> To this day, I believe in eternal life. Good job. All right. I think we're good. Okay, we're good. <coughs> I'm rolling now. <laughs> so I'll have to, I have to clap again. Keep your arm down. Okay. Okay, come on in. Hi, I'm Addison Clearwood, and I'll be performing a monologue from God's Country. Okay. You want to do it again, or are you happy with that? Did sound work? You're looking at it. I'm sure it's fine. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, I, I am rolling. Okay. You want to slate it? I will never leave you. from Sideshow.
slogan. Yeah. I love it. I can't tell what's happening in there with what he has mic wise. He's right. got the mic right on her, so we may be fine. Mm -hmm. It. I'm just questioning. The, it, it's blend okay, right? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Good. Okay, good. Bad. All right. Um. Remember the ark. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what's the, how many times do we say I will never leave you? Can you say it the same way every time? No. So what is the last one? It is I will never leave you. Yeah. I will never leave, leave you. you. Yeah, yeah. How many ways can you say it? <laughs> One more time, stand up with that chest up, sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of a mistake than the 
perfectionist thing over here that's totally <laughs> two-dimensional in your head. Yeah, okay. Okay? Uh-huh. Just think. What is it you need? Mm-hmm. All right, don't try to stick that D in. Okay. I had my misgivings but went on a field trip but you left something out you said there's nothing wrong with a harmless smooch so I'm gonna call him Burnside Gooch oh,
having any pitchy issues because sometimes what sounds live versus what's recorded, sometimes the recording points out pitch that we don't necessarily always hear live. Do you want to hear one of these? Do you mind? Like the last two would be great. I will never leave you from Sideshow. I will never leave you from Sideshow. I will never leave you. I will never go away. We were meant to share each moment. Beside you is where I will stay. For I will never, I will never, I will never. One more time. One more time. Okay. 
This guy's just fine. <laughs> I had my misgivings, but went on a field trip. But you left something out. You said there's nothing wrong with a harmless smooch. So I'm gonna call him Burnside Gooch. What do I do? Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I'll be singing I Will Never Leave You from Sideshow. I'd rather your legs were closer together. There you go. <laughs> okay, take two. Okay. Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I will be singing I Will Never Leave You from Sideshow. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood. Ready? Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I will be singing I Will Never Leave You from Sideshow. Good. Okay, I'm rolling also. Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I will be singing Gucci Song from MAME. Ready? Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I will be singing Gucci Song from Mame. I talked over you one more time. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, my name is Addison Clearwood, and I will be singing Gucci Song from Mame. Okay. 